ceremony and after completion we invoked not only the deity but whole entire environment all deities and the whole environment mandala we have to visualize that Here we draw the actual image of the, that forearm of Avalokiteshvara at the very center. Mm -hmm. On the red base, there are multiple arts are there. And you can see these are the different offerings. Zoke is a deep throat singing. In that long, maybe it takes six or seven minutes, but they are reciting only one stanza. Then after that, they play all the musical instrument to symbolize the coming of all the Buddhas. And we also play music for the you know those special guests and some high dignitaries <laughs> Shows the mansion with the four entrances from the each direction. At the each corner, there's a parasol, and underneath parasol, there's a the parasol is being holded by the monkey. And that represents the usually uh, umbrella help us from protect us from the heat of sun and rain. Likewise, the here the parasol of it represents the practice of compassion and the wisdom and so on and so forth. This protect us from the our own inner mind for heat of anger, jealousy, pride, so and all those negative or defilements.
main activities of the mystical arts of Tibet is to making the mandala and that there are the three main objectives for bringing these arts. The first is to make the peace and harmony in this planet with the rich tradition of compassion and non-violence of Tibet. And the second is making awareness about the Tibetan and their culture, how it is facing now under the Chinese communist regime. And third, and since we are in exile, try to preserve all these ancient traditions, which we think if it is lost, and it is a loss of all humanity, something it is helping us. It's a big loss for the whole of humanity. After completion of the mandala, we do the closing ceremony or dismantling ceremony, we can say. And again, we do the invocation for the world healing and harmony. As a part of that ceremony, then we visualize that all deities and the whole environment mandala dissolve. Then we collect the sand in the container and of course we distribute some sands to the audience here uh, and take the sand to the water and pour it there. We believe that by pouring it into the water, that healing energy eventually touched the oceans and with the evaporate, water evaporates and form the clouds and bring back the rain. That's a concept of global healing. Every single grain of sand carries a, that healing property. And with that, we believe the purpose of creation of the mandala has been accomplished. Thank you.